any other centrifuge, ultra centrifuge also works on the same principle. That is, it creates an artificial gravity as a centrifugal force that separates the denser molecule from the lighter one. Now, how it is different from the normal centrifuge? Suppose if you have to separate cells present in the media, you can simply spin it up using a normal centrifuge and you can collect the cells at the bottom as a pellet and media as a supernatant. But suppose if you have to separate the subcellular components present in the cells, for that you need to run the samples at the highest velocity. In the case of normal centrifuge, it can go maximum to 30,000 RPM. Whereas in the case of ultra centrifuge, it starts with 50,000 RPM and it goes up to 150,000 RPM. So, uh, the subcellular components which are present in the cells, say Golgi bodies, ribosomes, nucleus, these are all can be separated out on the basis of their density with the help of the ultra centrifuge. So, this is the ultra centrifuge from Beckman Porter, what we have it in our Bennett University. In the right hand side, you can find the knob. With the help of this knob, you can switch on the system. Now you can see the system is switched on. So this instrument is used for carrying the process of ultra centrifugation. It uses a specialized ultra centrifuge with optics to enable the light monitoring of the macromolecules in solution under the major biological relevant conditions, which is capable of detecting the particles at low concentration with minimum buffer constraints in a matrix-free environment where no standards are required. It is equipped with an absorbance and interference detect system. So you can have a look inside the chamber which contains the rotor, optic systems including a lamp, reflectors, lens and photometer tube. So you can have a look to the, these tubes wherein we place the sample and we seal it and then we close it with the help of these lids and we place it inside the rotor. Similarly, a balance is also placed and then these rotors are being closed with the help of these lids. So the instrument spins the sample under the vacuum at a set temperature and speed up to 60,000 rpm measuring the optical density or refractive index along the cell radius over time to provide insight into the particle configuration, structure, stability and interaction with other biomolecules. So we can set this speed. So it is already set up to 55,000 RPM. We can cancel it. And since it can go to 60,000 RPM, and now checking for the time, we can set up for 25 minutes. We can say OK. And then we can set the temperature, which is already being set at 4 degree. We can say cancel here. Now you can have a look on these folders. So here we have a program which we already set. Uh, these program will carry that for how many duration your sample need to be have a run. The time will be already stored. Uh, the temperature will already be set and the speed will also be stored in this program. Since there is no program set, so here it is written as no program. Now going on to the second graph. Here it measures the real time run data since it will monitor the live monitoring of your sample. So you can have a look there will be a graph which will be shown while your system is running. Now going on to the second uh, thing here you can have a run history like at what time and date your uh, sample run have been started.